What's up guys? Bongabar is back again with another Transformers reversal. This time we are doing it on Transformers Prime First Edition Starscream. Now again, this is a figure that is kind of tricky to get back into jet mode. But I have a few tricks and I have a few clues to help you to get him back into ve to vehicle mode. Now as again, again, you can see I colored the missiles and I colored his head crest. So yeah, all around very, very, very nice figure, and since I didn't cover it in his original review, I'm going to cover it now. How is his articulation as I sit here and straighten him out? He's got a ball joint within his neck, so that's always nice, a ball joint within the shoulder, and then he's got another hinge at the shoulder, which is due to transformation. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel, an elbow joint, and then this weird joint that you get through the transformation that's not even really used. Um, he's got, you can kind of break his wrist. Um, he really doesn't have much of a waist joint, but um, it's something. He's got a ball joint at the hip, he's got a thigh swivel, uh, he's got a decent knee bend, and these can pose in any shape or form you want. So yeah, as you can see, he is a very spindly and very, very unstable figure. I don't know why people are complaining about the fact that he's unstable, because I can get this dude to stand no problem. So yeah, like, but anyways, let's uh, do some size comparisons. Since I just got this guy and I can't get enough of him, uh, here's Breakdown. He's in decent scale with Breakdown. Um, here he is with uh, first edition Bulk. And since he's already here, here he is with uh, Knockout. Which, eh. Him and Knockout were about the same height from what I remember in the show. So this is kinda off. But you know what? I've never really given that much of a damn about scale. But as the Zizzler says, I digress. Now, enough rambling. Let's get this guy transformed back into jet mode. And how and as usual, the first thing we do is we pop off the missiles. These little missile clusters, which a lot of people have mentioned to me that you can cut the two missiles on the sides off and have him just have the one. That won't look right. Because if you look, this thing is standing on a strut. So if you were to cut these missiles off and plug it onto his arm, it wouldn't look right on his arm. So yeah, let's just kind of set these off to the side, get a look at him. Now to transform him back into jet mode, we're gonna flip these pieces back down, flip these around, flip that, flip those down, close up his feet, spin him around, again, rotate his waist until you hear that very, very, very sexy click. <laughs> that is the wrongest image ever, so I'm gonna flip that back around because that does look wrong. And what I said just made it even worse, so just forget I said anything. Kind of like just unpeg his neck from here, unpeg this, fold it back, close up the tail fin, rotate the thruster, kind of fold it up like that, and pull this whole piece, flip up with the crust kind of socket the whole head within and kind of got to push his chest back so that you're not completely ruining his head crest. You flip this piece up like that. 
take his arms, swing them around like this, twist it at the bicep, fold in his hand, flip out this wing, and then we'll push it in like that. Again, same thing on the other side. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Sorry, I almost fell off my chair. I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, tab all that together. Take this, take these wing pieces, fold them up, and peg them in up here. Like that. And now we rotate around, rotate that around. Unplug his waist, rotate it around, and plug it back in here. And then take these and kind of peg them in here and here. Which you then proceed to take the missile clusters, peg them onto the underside of the wings. And there is Starscream in his rather tiny jet mode. I mean, that is a seriously tiny jet mode. Um, I don't have anything else in vehicle mode right now to really kind of show it off. But yeah, he's like, here's my hand. Like, take him, put him on my hand. And he, like, just, like, the wings themselves outstretch my hand. But other than that, he really isn't all that much bigger than my hand. So, yeah, as you can see, he is a very small jet. But that's not, that's not to bash on it. That's actually really cool. Because, like, Bulkhead, this dude mass shifts like a beast. He goes from being this teeny tiny jet to this tall, lanky robot. And that's something that the first edition line kind of pulled off pretty well. So, at any rate, this is Bonger Miners signing out from the, from the reversal of Transformers Prime first edition Starscream. And this is BC saying stay nerdy and get your geek on.